Hi everybody, this is Watch Once Over and my name is Big E and today we're going to be taking a look at this Monster Latest Generation. This watch is uh, beautiful, it's the blue um, sunburst dial uh, model with the PVD coated stainless steel bezel and it has the patina markers. Now this watch um, is really really improved from the older monsters uh, it has a upgraded bracelet and it tapers down really nice but it stays thick so it's comfortable even though it's a big watch and I'll put all the measurements right over here and as well as the model number of the watch now this watch has improved um, bezel action the bezels really precise no back play and that's one thing I like about it. And now it has the candy bar magnifier with the day date. A lot of people take that off. They heat it up and take it off. But I kind of like it. I like the hands. And I like the indices. Which are two different size rectangle uh, indices. And, and they're a little different. You still get the Seiko rocket ship if you point the hands up at 12 and this is running a 4R36 movement which is proven to be a pretty much rock solid movement. The crown on here is improved you get more grip with the crown it's unsigned but you get more grip the case back is new it has a brand new case back with the Kawaganga wave on there so I kind of like the case back. The case back is more like an um, Orient case back almost. Nice, nicer quality than the old one. Uh, screw down case back. Uh, divers rated at 200 meters. Uh, water resistance. And let's look at the measurements. Real quick. Let me zero this out. Uh, what is this? It's 42. Thickness is 13 and a half. And I think the the wingspan is 48. So that's going to wear really good for just about anybody. It's going to wear really good um, and it looks really good. And I recommend this watch. This watch has a couple things I don't like about it still. I don't like the stamp clasp the Seiko still using. It makes for a thinner clasp. I will give you that. But they need to upgrade this clasp. It's, it's really uh, chintzy looking. But I guess you can just buy a strap code bracelet and they also have the um, divers extension over here and let me pop that out that's the same chintzy type divers uh, extension as always but oh well you can't have everything and I guess they gotta keep the cost down you get a hard lex crystal. I wish they update the sapphire. That would be another improvement, but I guess that will push the watch over $550 price. But all in all, the watch is a pretty good watch. I do recommend it. It really uh, uh, represents a strong value. It has a lot of followers, strong ar uh, architecture, and it's just something that you could live with day day by day. It is a sport watch. It's a bigger watch. It's something that you probably wouldn't wear um, dress up, but as an everyday watch, it's it's probably going to be really really nice for you. Now let's give it a loom shot. Um, I shouldn't have to charge it up because it's a Seiko. So let's just cut the lights. And there's your loom shot. Now on this one you have the cyan blue Luma Bright, the patina Luma Bright, and it glows all blue. I've seen this color blue in other Seikos, but never um, all blue for the dial. I've seen it in bicolor applications, but this uh, form of Luma Bright is the latest form of Luma Bright. It lasts all night. It's just as bright as the green, 
Some say the green lasts longer. That's just your eyes playing tricks on you. Once your eyes adjust, you'll see you roll over. This will be just as bright all night also. So it's um it's like a chromolite, Rolex chromolite color, but it's it's really, really pops and it's nice. So if you want something different, you might want to look into this latest generation monsters. There's several different colorways out. And I'm sure they're going to be putting out a lot more. Only controversial thing is they didn't update the bracelet really. As far as the class goes, they did up, upgrade the bracelet. It's nicer, solid in links. And they updated the bezel feel. The bezel feels really nice. But you have the controversial candy bar over here. What are you going to do with Seiko? Seiko is about building tool watches and when it comes to the prospect line that's that's what you're going to get you're going to get a lot of no nonsense stuff so scooter on crown 200 um, ISO rated uh, divers watch you can pick these up between three and five hundred bucks depending on where you shop at so that's it that's the once over my name is Big E I'll talk to you guys later please subscribe God bless.